Welcome back again, it's Ryan Miller with Aetna Interactive and we're here today to answer what I think is one of the most common questions that we get asked, asked in the area of online reputation, which is which review sites are best for you to focus on for your medical practice? Now the answer for us is really hiding in plain sight. We can go straight to Google and ask two different questions, two different queries to help us develop target lists to prioritize for online rating and review cultivation. Now we're gonna search on Google in two different ways. First, we're gonna search for your brand name. Now this could either be the name of you or your doctor combined with the word reviews or the name of your center or professional brand in combination with the word reviews. We're gonna do a second query after that, going back to Google, searching again, this time adding the word best before your specialty. So if you're a uh, ophthalmologist, it might be best ophthalmologist plus your city the primary city in which you're targeted or operating. And those two queries are gonna give us uh, an easy way to identify which of the rating and review sites are seen most often by patients in your market. So let's, let's do it together and, and do a little example here. So um, one of our clients here, Dr. Simeon Wall, a plastic surgeon in Shreveport, um, we searched Dr. Simeon Wall reviews, and I love it because he has a fantastic reputation. Now right away we see the visual impact of the knowledge graph card on the right-hand side of your screen. We see that Google's own native reviews, well, they're given special emphasis on this search engine result. So of course, Google matters. On the left-hand side of the screen, we see organic results for sites like uh, Vitals and Health Grades. If we went down a little bit farther, we'll see um, uh, RateMDs and Yelp are right there. But I wanna pause for a second on this page and call your attention to the bottom of that knowledge graph card where Google is aggregating data. They're taking data in this particular case from real patient ratings, from vitals, and from health grades, similar to the three sites you see in the organic results set. This is Google telling us that it trusts these particular sources. It's giving them additional visibility on this search engine result page. And for that reason, we definitely would wanna focus effort and attention there. So from our first query, our first search in Google, this is what we're left with. Google, Visium and Real Patient Ratings, Vitals, Health Grades, RateMDs, and Yelp. For those that don't know, um, Visium and Real Patient Ratings is a commercial service for uh, practices to gather both feedback and to help cultivate reviews online. It's not an independent rating and review site, and for that reason, I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about that one today. But I will search again, in this particular case, I, um, I followed that second set of directions we gave you a few slides ago, searching for best plastic surgeon Shreveport. Now I get a different result set here. Again, Google is leading with their own information in a local pack or a local knowledge graph, highlighting three practices in the market. In this case, the Wall Center is the top rated practice in the market, balancing between quantity and quality that we see there. But if I zoom out for a second and take a look and see what really is happening on the rest of the organic section of that page, we see an interesting new site popping up, 3bestrated.com, and then a few repeats from the previous search result. RateMDs is coming up, as is a new one, Yellow Pages. If I list these two things side by side, that specialty search that we just performed, well, it gives us a slightly different set of priorities. And what we're gonna do together, we're gonna circle the ones really quickly here. We see Google, we see that Vitals, and we see that RateMDs are showing up on both of the two queries. That means that your patients are gonna be exposed to those sites more often than not, and they should probably top our list. So let's bring it all together and summarize where we might focus our top eight for this sample practice top eight rating and review sites for our uh, effort and attention. Google tops the list, and although it didn't show up in this query, we generally put Facebook in the number two spot. Why? Because social proof, reviews that are left on social sites can have special impact when uh, patients are researching and they're trying to learn more about your business and your practice. Then we saw that Vitals and RateMDs showed up on both of our queries, so they get the number three and four spots, and then we build the rest of the list out with health grades, Yelp, 3bestrated.com and yellowpages.com, all of those sites appearing in queries that are likely to be searched by your patients and therefore warranting your effort and attention to provide protection for your reputation on those platforms. So the bottom line, why do we do this particular method? It's because we want reviews where they're likely to have the greatest impact. And that impact's gonna be the greatest where patients are already finding review content about you and your practice today. So there it is. Where exactly do you want reviews? Well, there's the way that you're gonna be able to answer that question yourself. If you have questions about uh, our recording today, you can send me an email or of course find more information about Ed Interactive on our own website, edinteractive.com.